Every year, 3.2 million kids are bullied, and 16-year-old Ali Del Monte was one of them. But she decided to fight back by motivating others to be proud, be strong, and most of all, be brave. Here's her story. I guess you could say that I was the class joke because I was tall and I was weird and I was overweight. I never want anyone to feel alone or the way that I did ever again. I'm Ali Del Monte. I believe that we can put an end to bullying. I was put on a medication that made my metabolism slow, so I gained like 60 pounds. The kids would say small things like, why is your jacket so big? You have a really big stomach. Um, why aren't you wearing the same clothes as us? There was a group of boys that would always exclude me from the playground, and they wouldn't let me go on the swings. They would guard them, saying that I was going to snap it, or they wouldn't let me go on the slides because they said I would break it. And it progressively got worse as I grew up. I noticed more and more that Allie would spend time in her room. And it is a normal part of growing up and being a teenager is learning to be your own person. And that's what makes it so hard to understand and realize something's happening to your child. There was no escape from it. I would come home from school where I was pushed around and shoved and I already felt horrible. And I would go onto the internet where I thought I could get away. You're so fat. You'll never make it anywhere and you'll never amount to you anything. You always look so sloppy and gross. I feel bad for your family because they have to be seen with you. You'll never have a boyfriend. You're so ugly. It makes me think that every time I get a compliment from a boy that they don't mean it and it's a joke. As a mom, when you realize for that moment that your child doesn't want to live, everything stops. One day you'll climb out of bed, or... And the only important thing is helping her and getting it fixed. People say that music saves life, and it really does, because it saved mine. And it gave me something else to focus on rather than being sad. And when I was sad, I could channel it into music. I started a movement called Be Brave. I wanted a safe place for people who felt the same way I did. I want everyone to know that they're worth something and that they're never alone because there's always someone out there that cares about them. To have these hundreds of people tell me that I've changed their view on how they treat people or I've saved their life is really empowering. I became so much more confident in myself because I started to believe in myself and I started to see myself as beautiful and worth something. Mm -hmm.